हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू प्रोग्रामिंग नट्स थैंक यू फॉर ऑल द सपोर्ट एंड पेशेंट्स यू ऑल हैव शोन फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू री स्टार्ट आर सीरीज ऑफ इग्नो एम ए सोशोलॉजी एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस यूनिट ट्वेंटी वन फंक्शन रोल ऑफ सिविल सोसाइटी इन डेमोक्रेसी वी विल ऑल्सो सी दैट इज सिविल सोसाइटी आर थ्रेट टू डेमोक्रेसी लेट्स बिगन आर वीडियो Democracy is a condition where a community of people exercise collective self-determination. Through democracy, members of a given public demos take decision that shape their destiny jointly with equal rights and opportunities of participation and without arbitrarily impose constraint on debate. So we can say that democracy is essentially participatory, consultative and transparent. publicly accountable institution schmitter and karl for purpose of clarity and consistency modern political democracy they defined it as a system of governance in which rulers are held accountable for their actions in the public realm of by citizen acting indirectly through the cooperation of their elected representatives In democracy civil society organization provide basis for citizen to pursue common interest in political social or spiritual domain citizen by involvement learn about fundamental democratic values of participation and collective action and further disseminate values with communities carter a sociologist discuss three central aspect of democracy the first is electoral assistance second is institutional reform and the third is civil society assistance as we have discussed by the definition itself we can say the functions of civil societies in democracy is as follows the points that i am going to discuss is by larry diamond in his article rethinking civil society in 1996 he gave 10 major points first to limit state power second to empower citizen third to inculcate and promote attribute of democracy development fourth to provide avenues for political parties and other organizations fifth to function as a recreating informal and leadership generating agency sixth to act as a shock observing institution seventh to generate public and political support eighth to help in identifying and train new political leaders ninth for election monitoring and tenth to ensure institutional guarantee for proper functioning to limit state power means to check abuses violation law scrutinize it civil society consolidate and maintain democracy to empower citizen means to impart them with proper skill and appreciation such as pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana that is currently going on by the central government to inculcate and promote attribute of democracy development means that tolerance modernization etc they allow women to grow and there is no racial group in power to provide avenues for political parties and other organization means they allow them to articulate aggregate and represent their interests generation of opportunity influence on all level of government is there they enhance the quality of democracy to function as a recreating informal and leadership generating agencies means then in economically developed societies to act as a shock observing institution means that there is a wide range of interests that may cross cut and mitigate the principal polarities of political conflicts to generate public and political support for successful economic and political reforms which require support of coalition in society and legislature to help in identifying and train new political leaders it revitalize narrow and stagnant party election monitoring is very important it detect fraud enhance voter confidence to vote to ensure institutional guarantee for proper functioning includes freedom of association and expression second right to vote third keen for public office fourth for fair and fair fair and free elections right of political leader to complicate for support and vote alternative sources of information is there policy making institution depend on votes other expression of preferences help institutional growth so we can say that civil society is a promoter of democracy 
according to dr jan art scolt in his article civil society and democracy in global governments he identifies six areas that is public education voice to stakeholder policy inputs transparency of governments public accountability and legitimacy public education means that awareness is the key to any democratic system civil society may enhance democracy with education society groups prepare handbooks information kits and audio visual presentation workshop etc so that public are educated and know about their rights voice to stakeholder means that civic association can opportunate the concerned parties to rebate information testimonial analysis to governments agencies about their need and demands they give voice to neglected social circles such as poor or women policy inputs includes government policy that is influential or not by the civil society inputs such as any home or international relation transparency of governments there is constant pressure from gov civil society to bring regulatory frameworks and operate into the open for public scrutiny public accountability means that civic group keep an eye on implementation and effect of policies regarding people and press for corrective measures when consequences are adverse civic agencies push authorities in global governments to take responsibility of their action and policies legitimacy means that some of total preceding actions leads to legitimate democratic rules so after knowing so many promoters of civil society can we say that civil society is a threat to democracy as every coin has two faces same similarly similarly civil society can also be said as threat to democracy because civil society detract democratic governments in certain ways of international relations there are seven general negative possibilities identified first civil society activities may not essentially pressure democratic purposes subverting their private petty interests and privileges civil society might draw away from democracy if its efforts are poorly planned and designed or executed understand the institution is the first priority ill equipped government agencies cannot handle civil society inputs lack of experts funds procedure etc may be there civic association may be consulted after making decisions or at the later stages and in such a situation the policy cannot be altered much the state funding and benefits could corrupt the volunteer of the civics organization they could run their short term gain inadequate representation could seriously undermine the very fabric of democracy equality of opportunity in terms of participation civil society concern for global democracy could be insensitive towards the local culture practices unintentionally marginalized grassroots circles may be demolished civil society may lack internal democracy it may not fully aware of the situation it may be corrupt or lack transparency there may be no participation beyond the payment of subscription so we should balance our enthusiasm for civil society as promoting agency for democracy in domestic as well as international arena with due caution and care democracy require healthy and active civil society internalization funding can improve democratic civil society in our next video we will talk about chapter 22 and we will discuss three questions discuss wager various approaches to study ethnicity constructive and instrumentalist approach to study ethnicity and relationship between race and ethnicity thank you please like share and subscribe and for any query you can contact us on telegram or instagram or you can comment down below